Greetings folks, I'm at the trailhead of the Mare Island Shoreline Heritage Preserve. It's been a long time since I've taken this hike and it's a nice clear day so I hope to get some good views. Mare Island is a decommissioned, almost abandoned, naval shipyard. A lot of the buildings that you see beyond this fence are abandoned. They're boarded up, locked up, probably used for storage, if anything. And there are new buildings here as well. There are even some homes on Mare Island that they're building. So Mare Island is in the state of transition. It's becoming uh, kind of a community. And this is in Vallejo, California. So some parts of Mare Island are still kind of creepy and others are up to date and very nice. This is a reminder to stay out of certain areas. Today's a Saturday, so I'm glad to be here today. This preserve hike is only available on the weekends. It's closed during the weekdays. Starting to get some of the views. There we go. Nice and clear today. The last time I was here, it was so cloudy and foggy, couldn't see much. Today's going to be way different. You know, Mare Island is not really an island. It's a peninsula, but it's named after a horse, <laughs> a mare, that was rescued after an accident on a barge uh, back in General Vallejo's time. In fact, I believe that that mare belonged to General Vallejo. And uh, the horse was rescued in that, a in that barge accident. And um, they named this area for her. It later became government property and became a huge naval shipyard, building and repairing ships and submarines in World War II. I'm doing this hike on April 4th. No, excuse me, April 6th. 2024. It's a Saturday. And this might be one of the best viewpoints right here. The trail continues upward. It is paved. It's a slight uphill all the way. And I do have a destination in mind. I'm actually here for three reasons today. Number one, to take in this hike. And number two, to go to an art exhibit down at the art studios right here on Mare Island. And number three, to do a geocaching adventure lab that's just been published. Looks like a heavy duty tractor out here mowing the fields today. Getting those tall weeds down. My destination is just ahead. We'll be there in a moment. Another great vantage point first. Wow, great views today. And here's destination number one, the spirit ship. This is built to commemorate the ships and subs that were built and repaired here on Mare Island. And I'm sure all of the crew that worked on those ships. Okay, this is the highest point right here at this survey station. Oh man, you can get a panoramic view up here. This is great. Wow. There's the spirit ship. Yeah, definitely a great 
viewpoint right here. Okay, time to head back. I will pick up this video again when I get back down the hill and decide whether I'm going to do the geocaching adventure lab next or the art exhibit. I decided to come here first. This is the little park where the adventure lab was. I went around, looked for the things that I had to look for, which were plaques and different sculptures and different memorabilia, and answered questions online. and uh, got credit for the Adventure Lab. This is a very nice little park at Mare Island, and over there are some bunkers, believe it or not. There's a bunch of those around here. Old bunkers, they're boarded up so you can't go in them. And so it's onward to the art exhibit. And I've made it to Mare Island Art Studios. So let's see what their current exhibit is all about. These mosaics are so clever. Here's an art quilt. Some very eclectic designs here. And there are a bunch of art quilts right up my alley. Well, that was a fun fiber arts, art quilting, and a very eclectic mix of other media kind of an exhibit. But that's my day. And now it's time to leave Mare Island. So with this view, I'm going to say thank you for coming along with me today on my hike and a visit to the 
art studio and also to the Central Park where I did a little geocaching. It's been a very eclectic day. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.